It's time to play Furry Feud! This is AJ Rat from BLFC 2022 at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Nevada. We tried to get Steve Harvey, but he's resting his face from laughing too hard. But we got the next best thing. Give it up for Kajani Lion! And we are going to have a lot of fun today as we bring you an authentic game show experience uh, featuring all the excitement and hilarity of one of the all-time classic game shows. Now, as you may notice, this is not typical game show host attire, but uh, I talked to my friend Steve Harvey and I told him, the only suits that I wear are fursuits. <laughs> we'll go with that. So I'll go over the qualifying process in a moment. So funny. We'll be playing in teams of four today. Uh, hopefully you get along with your teammates. If you don't, it'll be that much more entertaining for the rest of us. Uh, how this is going to work, we're going to play three games of Furry Feud today, each to a goal of 300 points. We will start with two preliminary games, and then the winners of those games will face off in the Furry Feud Finals for the championship and the right to play our signature bonus round, Fast Money. Now, who can tell me what's the best part about being on a game show? Anybody? The prizes. prizes. Yeah, winning prizes. Yeah. Awesome, shiny things. Well, today, just for winning your preliminary game, every member of both teams will win one of these adorable puppy pillows! Yeah! We have, uh, uh, let's see, we have Beagle and Golden Retriever for you to choose from. But, if the winning team in the finals wins the fast money round, the grand prize has a total cash value today of $280. It is a complimentary attending membership to BLFC 2023 for every member on the team, if they can do it. Uh, we've had a little trouble giving that away the last couple times, but I think this is the year we're going to do it today. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, one disclaimer, I ran the actual surveys you're going to see today, uh, and approximately 90%, just about all the people that did the surveys were in the furry fandom, if that affects your answers in any way, it should. Uh, all right, that's about it. So here's how the qualifying round is going to work. Uh, one note before we start that. I've been hosting uh, furry-themed interactive game shows on my Twitter for the, on Sundays for the last couple years. And this year I started a furry feud game, which I'm sure some of you out there have played. Um, so I stated that the winner of that furry feud game on Twitter would get a free contestant spot here at BLFC 2022's furry feud. And they're actually here today. So with 305 points, let's give a round of applause to Wilshire. Who's <laughs> Okay, so uh, actually, Wilshire, I'll have you come up on stage and take a seat here uh, in one of the captain seats. Congratulations on winning that. If you had a tail like dogs do, what might cause it to start wagging? That would be Wilshire. Hmm, he said some yummy food. Yeah, that's what it was. Good job. Okay, guys, I'm going to pass it to them. Play. Okay, so there's a microphone on your table. Just pick it up and, and make sure you're speaking to the mic. Uh, so hello, you can all hear. Your, oh, the mic is it on? It's on. It's on. Okay. All right. I'll pass it down to your next player. Okay, Aragon. Uh, the question: If you had a tail like dogs do, what might cause it to start wagging? Pets. Pets. Okay. Well, that's that. All right. Show me pets. Okay, very good. All right, pass it down. Okay, uh, do, was it Deuce? Deus, sorry. Deus, if you had a tail like dogs do, what might cause it to start wagging? Uh, seeing other dogs or animals. Seeing other dogs or animals. Okay, I like that. Let's see if that's up there. Show me seeing other dogs or animals. Uh, no, that's a good answer, though. Love. Love. Oh, isn't that adorable? Show me love. Friends are loved ones. There we go. That's a good one. Okay, only one strike for we're going to go back to Wilshire, the team captain. Any question again? If you had a tail like dogs do, what might cause it to start wagging? Three seconds. Okay, that's two strikes. Get ready to steal Cat's Meow. You got 59 points in the bank. All right, Aragon, let's see if you can keep it alive for your team here. If you have a tail like dogs do, what might cause it to start wagging? Playtime. Oh, 
Playtime, you said? Playtime. Playtime. I like that. Let's see if that's up there to keep it alive. Show me playtime. Oh, the first strike. Okay, there's a lot of answers up there. Seven, uh, four answers left. We'll give you a few more seconds here to talk it over. We're going to take a cue from the new furry movie, Being Called a Good Boy. Oh, okay. Being Called a Good Boy. So, this movie was done before the bad guys came out, but I like the answer. Let's see if it's up there for 59 points and the steal, Being Called a Good Boy. Let's go. Yeah! Oh, that's a great. 59 points for Cats Mail. They have scored first. Okay, let's uh, see the other answer. Shout them out. What do we think, guys? Oh, okay, I see taking us. Uh, we're going for a walk. Walkies, okay. Let's see number five. I think it's a very attractive person. Number six. Beer, liquor, yeah. Especially at this con. Number seven. Good music. Rocking out some good tunes. Okay, let's go on to the second round. I need Aragon and Skytail. Okay, we have the top, uh, top six answers on the board for this one. It's double points. Hit that buzzer when you think you know it. Name something a magician might forget to take out of his pocket. Uh, uh, that was uh, Skytail. A rabbit. Number two. Now let me finish the question for Eric Gomes. I didn't finish it. Name something a magician might forget to take out of his pants before sending them to the cleaners. <laughs> okay, uh, Aragon says a coin. A coin, a coin, a coin. Oh, it's up there, but it's number six. So Skytail, you're gonna play. You're gonna play this one. Cast is gonna play. Oh, it was a tough answer. Only two people got it. But I got the hard one out of the way. Okay, Fox Presso, go pick up that mic. Something a magician might forget to take out of his pants before sending them to the cleaners. A watch? A watch? Okay. Let's see if that made the survey. Show me a watch. <laughs> First okay, don't worry about it. All right, Phoenix. Something a magician might forget to take out of his pants before sending them to the cleaners. I'm going to say the long line of handkerchiefs. Long line of handkerchiefs, yeah. I don't know if that's safe dry cleaning. We'll find out. Show me handkerchiefs. That's number four. All right, we have only the odd answers left. One, three, and five for Tabby, the captain. Well, I think we forgot to put his magic wand on his pants. Oh! Magic wand, let's see if that's up there. Magic wand! You betcha, that's a friend! Magic wand, when did Hitachi start sponsoring magic shows? Oh, yeah. that's, that's a new one on me. Okay, uh, uh, Skytail. Um, I'm gonna go with a uh, rope. A rope, okay. Kinda goes along with that handkerchief answer. Show me the rope! Oh, it's like the you are ready to steal. Okay, Fighting Wolves are getting ready to steal, and we have Fox Presso, two strikes for your team. Still the number one answer is up there. I'm going to take a guess here and say a saw. Oh, say that again. Saw? Saw? Saw. Oh, saw. Oh, okay. I need the person to have it. Okay. All right, let's see if that's up there. Show me the saw. Oh, okay, we're going over. Two, the Fighting Wolves, do you have an answer? You do. That's a card. A deck of cards. That makes sense. It's a deck of cards. For the steal and to get 92 points and take the lead in this game, show me a deck of cards. Number one answer. You got it. Pretty good. All right, we have a game now. We have 92 for the Fighting Wolves, 59 for Cast Me Up. We have one answer left. Who knows it? I heard a bird. I heard assistant, cell phone, dove. Let's. That's a good one too. Number three. It's a bird or a dive. Never said that. Okay, let's go on to the third round. It's anybody's game. I need Fox Presso and Dennis. Okay, first you pump on something, Pache. There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hard to pick him up with first you pause. 
Alright. Got it? Okay, we're good. Okay, we have the top six answers on the board once again for this one, and it's again double points. Here's the question. Name a famous canine character known for a TV or movie role. Uh, Fox Presser. Lassie? Fox Russell says, Lassie, Lassie, come home, show me Lassie. <laughs> Number one. Okay, okay, right? okay. All right, they're gonna play again. This time we got the number one out of the way early. Phoenix, a famous canine character known for a TV or movie role. I'm gonna say Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo, I like that one too. Run it, Raggy, Scooby Doo. Number four, there he is. Okay. We're rolling now, Tabby. I'm gonna go really old and say Old Yeller. Old Yeller? Did you just age your or did you just, uh, yeah. Here we go. The Old Yeller. No, might be a little bit, that one might be a little bit too old, I think. Okay, uh, Skytail, only one strike. Uh, let's see, a famous canine character known for a TV or movie role. I'm gonna say Crypto the Super Dog. Crypto the Super Dog, okay. Show me Crypto the Super Dog. No, that's not okay either. They got two strikes already. Get ready to steal fighting wolves. Okay, back to Fox Presso. I'm gonna say uh, Wonder Dog. Wonder Dog? I like that one too. There's a lot of good canine characters out there. Let's see if that made it. Show me Wonder Dog. No, that's right. Okay, four answers left. You guys ready? They are ready again. Okay, Fighting Wolves, what's your steel answer? We're going with Balto. Balto, yes. <laughs> That's around my, my time. One of my favorite movies as a kid. No. For the steel and 94 more points to be added. Show me Balto. Yes, number three. Very good. They have taken the lead. Oh, they have expanded the lead, pardon me. Okay, three answers left. Canine character, TV or movie. Show them out. Airbud. Airbud? Air Balt. Bolt and Courage. Courage. Okay, let's see number two. It was Airbud. Oh, yes. Number five. Bolt. Yes. Another great movie. And number six, this one's also old. Rin Tin Tin. Some of you might remember that. Alright. Here we go. We have only the top four answers on the board for this, but it's triple points. This may decide the game. Good luck to both teams. This is a fill in the blank. It was a rough year at the North Pole. Santa Claus had to blank one of his reindeer. Ludo. Clean? Clean? Yeah. Clean! Show me clean! Oh. Kill. Kill! Oh, the morbid answer. Show me kill! Number one answer. Still a quick answer. Gonna play it. They're gonna play it. It's gonna be for the win, probably. Okay, pass the mic down. Tabby, fill in the blank. It was a rough year at the North Pole. Santa Claus had to blank one of his reindeer. He got hungry. He ate them. Oh! Are you want for some daughter steaks? Show me. Eat them. Eat them. Oh, oh that's up there. Okay, two. To... Okay, no strikes. Going on to Skytail. Going a little less morbid. Had to fire one. Fire. Of them. Oh. In this economy, that's, uh, that's a tough situation. Show me fire! Number three, wow! Awesome, okay. Only one answer left. It's that tough last answer. Fox Presso, can you get it? Rough year at the North Pole. Santa Claus had to blank one of his reindeer. Send one of them away? Send one of them away? Okay, let's see if that's up there. Show me send one of them away! Good answer. Okay, Phoenix. Rough year at North Pole. Santa Claus had to blank one of his reindeer. Replace the same as fire layoff. Yeah, that would be the same thing. Yeah. Um, and to retrain. Re retrain? Okay, that makes sense. For the win, show me retrain. <laughs> Tabby. Okay, right, get, ready to, get ready to steal Fighting Wolves. I think I got it. Tabby thinks he's got it. It was a really rough year. We had to sell one. Sell! Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. This is for the win. Show me sell! No! Oh. Alright, we're going over. 
So let's, let's review the scores here. Can we zoom out to the scoreboard? I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I did not just correct. They are ahead, so they would win. So if they don't steal this, we go to sudden death. Five. Five. Okay, guys, I need an answer, please. Trade? Trade? Trade one? Trade one. Okay. All right, they said trade. If this is up there, they win the game. If not, we are going to sudden death. For the win, show me trade. Oh. Is the feed on the game board? Can we, yeah, we need it on the game board. There we go. Okay. That was a strike. This is a tough last answer. Anyone? No. Yeah. Neuter. Neuter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear anyone say this. Let's see number four. Clone. Oh. You were close with replace. That was very close to clone, but we needed the actual word clone. So we're going to sudden. This is the first time we've ever gone to sudden death in any very few games. So. Whoever gets this is going to win. It's time to keep that thing. We're looking for a top answer. Top answer only. All righty, here we go. Obviously, we're looking for just the top answer. It's triple points. Whoever gets this wins the game. Name something from a pet goods store a furry might buy for the... Well, <laughs> Shire. Caller. A caller. Okay, that was a great game. Let's give a round of applause to Cats Round. It was a great game. So close to 300 points. There it is. Okay, game two of three feud. We have the Corgis taking on the Night Howlers. Let's play the feud. Okay, well, we're getting serious here. I'm taking the pause off. Taking the pause off. Feud is on. <laughs> All right, let's test the buzzers real quick. Chips hit yours, please. Perfect, and uh, Harry hit yours. Awesome, okay. All right, we have the top uh, eight answers on the board, I believe. Yeah, top eight, big survey. Good luck to both teams, here we go. Real or fictional, name a famous Jack. Okay, Chip said, Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow. That's number one, pass or play? Pass or play? Play, okay. They're gonna play, go ahead and pick up that mic that's in front of you so we can all hear your lovely voices. Okay, hello. All right, pass it to your next uh, player though. Okay, Nightwolf. Real or fictional, name a famous Jack. A lot of Jacks out there, I know. <laughs> Alright, three seconds. Say something. Uh, uh, sorry, first strike. That's okay, it happens. Yeah. Okay, uh, Andy? Yes. Yes. I think it was Jack, real or fictional? Uh, Jack in the box. Jack in the box, Woo! yeah. <laughs> Two delicious greasy tacos for I think it's a dollar thirty nine where I live. Show me Jack in the box! Yeah, the well, last answer! Number eight! Got that last answer out of the way. Oh. Alright, we're going to uh, Mint. Real or fictional name of famous Jack? Jack Septiguy. Jack Septiguy? Okay, Jack Septiguy. Okay, let's see. Jack Septiguy. Oh, second strike. Okay. You're ready to steal. Okay, there's still six answers on the board for a famous Jack. Back to the team captain, Chips. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk? Jack and the Beanstalk, that's a good one. I like that one very much. Let's see if that's up there. Show me Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, all right. So we have six answers up there. If you can find one of those answers, you steal a lot of spank. Jack Black. Jack Black, okay. Yeah! They said Jack Black, a very talented actor, voice actor, comedian. For the steal, show me Jack Black. That's yeah! number two, Jack Black. All right, so you guys got the first score here. A lot of, a lot of Jacks up there. Five of them. What do we got? Skellington. 
Jackson Hooper. Jack, I hear Jack Daniels. Number three. <laughs> Jack Nicholson, a little bit of an older actor. Number four, I heard this one. He makes an appearance at furry room parties. Number four. Jack Daniels. Number five. Jack Frost. Uh, let's see, I heard this one by someone. Number six. Jack the Ripper. All right, let's go to those. Number seven, answer number seven. I heard this one as well. From the Nightmare Before Christmas, Matt Skellington. Okay, so we have uh, just 29 points for, uh, let's see, the Night Howlers, but it's early. All right, furry fist bump. There we go. What's the answer? Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, guys, I forgot to say, can you grab your mics when you come up to the face off? I keep forgetting to mention that so we can hear you. Got it? Okay. I got it. All right, we have the top seven answers on the board. The, yeah, this is double points, and here is the question. You ready to hit the, the buzzer? Okay. Name a word that describes your coffee that can also describe your mate. No one's buzzing in. <laughs> okay, it's first one. Strong. Strong. Yeah. Strong man. Show me strong. Yeah. Number three, two answers can beat that, Nagel. <laughs> uh, a, a word that describes your coffee that can also describe your mate. Black. Black, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Show me black. That's up here, number five. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. All right. Okay, going to Aiden next. Aiden Raccoon, a word that describes your coffee that could also describe your mate. Sweet, sweet. Oh, that's that's a goal. <laughs> that's the answer you say if your mate is in the audience. <laughs> Show me sweet. Nice. Okay, all right, no strikes. We're going on to, I'm uh, oh, sorry, I, I, what was your name? Panther, right. Panther, name a word that describes your coffee that can also describe your mate. Bitter. Bitter? Oh, talk in the mic please so we can hear you. Bitter. Bitter? Okay. He said bitter, show me bitter. That's up there. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> so are on the roll. Only three answers left, no strikes. Iced. Iced, okay. Ooh. Interesting answer. Let's see. Iced. Iced. Oh, first strike. Don't worry about it. Just first strike back to Star Skunk. I'm going to say hot. Hot. Okay. That's another one to say if you're in the Okay, we got sweet. How about hot? Yeah. Okay. Aiden. We asked for a lot of furries. I'm going creamy. Oh! <laughs> you got it. It helps. it helps to think like a furry in this game. Show me creamy. Yes! <laughs> what well, an answer that is a huge game. 144 points. Panther, can you clear the board? Be our first board clear of the day. A word that describes your coffee that can also describe your mate. Cold. Okay, that's a very good answer. Let's see if that's up there. For the, for the sweep, show me cold. No, second strike, get ready to steal. Corgis. Okay, now it comes down to this. Last answer is always tough. Harry. Uh, expensive. Expensive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no cheap dates here, show me expensive. <laughs> no, first strike. Okay, Corgis, you have a chance to get that last answer. Do you have an answer? I'll give you a few more seconds to talk it over. Big bank for round two, 144 points up for grabs here. Yeah, yeah, go. Uh, yeah, take it off. Okay. I guess dark. Dark, okay. Uh, That's a good answer. For the steal of 144 points, show me dark. Uh, no, let's go. Uh, yes. Okay, points go. Yep, points go to left team. The Night Hammers. Okay, last answer. Can anyone get this? I'll be. Oh, 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 Bold. Steamy. Delicious. Okay, I don't think I heard this one. Let's see, number seven. Fragrant. Musky Husky. All right, let's review the board. 
172. They're in great shape. The Night Howlers are. But Corgis, we're from the 300 points. You guys can still win. Let's go into round three. Okay, I need Aiden and Andy. Come on up. Bring your mics. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay. Okay, all right, for a few pop up, there we go. Let's do this. We have the top six answers on the board, and it's double points. Here's the question. Name the worst thing to leave at home when traveling to a furry convention. That would be Andy. Deodorant. Deodorant, yeah. <laughs> Go with the last answer, show me deodorant. That's number four, I'll say your fursuit. Your fursuit, Hi. show me your fursuit. That's number one, very good. Good play, good play. all right. Okay. All right, got that number one answer, and we're going to uh, Panther. Panther, the worst thing to leave at home when traveling to a furry convention. Clothes. Clothes. Yeah, you don't want to forget that. Or, or you could you could live in your fur suit the whole time. So you can do that too. Name the worst thing he said. Clothes. Show me clothes. Okay, here we go. The worst thing to leave at home when traveling to a furry convention. Money. Money. Oh, you don't want to forget that. Show me money. Yes. Three answers left. Star Skunk, the worst thing to leave at home when traveling to a fur con. Your ID. Your ID. That's that's uh, you know that's a great answer. I really think that's up there, Star Skunk. That's an awesome answer. Oh, it is already. I'm up there. so sure that's up there. Oh yeah, it is up there. <laughs> I'll give you another shot. Oh, you know what, I'll go with uh, similar deodorant and say soap. Soap, okay, let's see if that's up there. Show me soap. Second strike. Get ready to steal, Corgi. I think you guys will need this. First thing to leave home and travel into a fur con. We don't need no stinky badges. Badges, okay, we don't need no stinky badges. Show me badges. Yes. Two answers left. The bottom two, Panther. What you got? Water. Water? Okay. Water water. That's a good answer. Let's see if that is on the survey. Show me water. Right. Okay, so let's review the scores here. I think this is for the game. It might be. Yes. If they don't steal this, you guys will have 300 points and you will win. This is it. We need a steal here. That, that mic's over there. You guys have an answer? You do? Okay. I'm gonna say wallet. Uh, wall, wallet's already up there. Oh, it it's is? number two. Yeah, sorry. I can't read. I'm okay. Sorry. Uh, ID. Uh, ID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, it's maybe hard to see the board in the, the first head. So yeah, wallet and ID are all part of the money answer. So. One of the things that I think would be one thing to forget would be a sewing kit. Sewing kit? Yeah. Okay. All right, they have said sewing kit. If that is up there, we're going to go to round four. If it's not up there, the uh, Night Howlers have won the game. They're going to advance to the finals. Show me sewing kit. No! They swept the game. That was a very good answer. I always bring a sewing kit to cons, too. Uh, let's see the other two answers. Number five, hold on. Let's see if we can get it from the audience. Vaccine card? I heard condoms. Phone. I heard condoms and phone. Number five. Cell phone. Number six can't be condoms, can it? Number six. Oh! Oh, no. Good thing there's a Walmart down the street. Oh, wait. They're all out, too. Let's give it right now. A round of applause for the Corgis for playing. Okay, so the Nighthawkers, see where you are. Uh, the other team, uh, it was the Fighting Wolves after the finals, right? As soon as the key comes up, we have the Fighting Wolves taking on the Nighthawkers. Let's play the few one more time. Aragorn, a famous dragon character. <laughs> Puff? Puff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He lives by the sea. Show me Puff. Puff yeah. have a dragon. Number one and number two. Okay, Deus. Uh, any famous dragon character? Charizard? 
Charizard? Yeah. Yeah, that is a dragon. For the Pokemon fans out there, show me Charizard. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm a little, I am shocked that's I'm not up there. I agree. Okay, uh, Ludo, a famous dragon character. Bowser? Ba Bowser? Uh, okay. I'm not sure he's a dragon. We'll see if that's up there. Show me Bowser! Oh, second strike. Okay, get ready to steal. Yeah, we're going around cars. So get ready to steal, guys. Okay, we're back to Wilshire, the team captain, a famous dragon character. Two strikes. Toothless. Toothless! Yeah. Yeah. I hear the audience likes that one. Show me Toothless! Yes! Number four. So five answers on the board for Aragon. Aragon, again, two strikes. A famous dragon character. Uh, All right, three seconds. Nothing. Okay, so we have 55 points in the bank. And the Night Howler are going to try to steal that 55 points. Do you guys have an answer? Sounds like you do. Harry, what is it? Uh, Smog. Smog. All right. <laughs> Let's see, how, let's see how many Tolkien fans there are surveyed for the steal of 55 points. Show me Smog! Yes! Very good. Okay, so they draw first blood in the finals. So we have wow. four answers left. Uh, famous Dragons. Shout them out. Aragon. Elliot! Draco? What about the dragon? Who's the and dragon? Fury, the okay. dragon? What's his name? Duke. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Duke! It's, it's gonna be up there. Peace Dragon! Elliot, also named Elliot. Number six, this is a tough one, I think. Number six? Duke! Figment, he's that, that purple dragon from Disney. Number seven? My Little Pony! Where's the ponies out there? Where's the Spike. Pony? And finally, number eight, Where's which is actually finals? not a dragon, I don't think. Well, let's say number eight? It is Aragon. Uh, I think Aragon is, I think the dragon name is Sephira, but that's what they said, so. Okay, let's go to number two. So much to from Name that. something you wouldn't want to see in the stream you just drank from. Oh! <laughs> Fox Espresso! P. P. Okay. You're a human. Show me P. Yellows? Yeah. What? Number one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, number one. Excellent. It covers oh, all of that stuff. That's all play, of that guys. stuff. We're going to play. Well, that's pretty crappy. Mm. Extra man. Extra man. Hashtag extra man. Dude. Okay, uh, we're going on to Aiden. Aiden, name something you wouldn't want to see in the stream. You yeah, just Aiden in the from. finals. Uh, I'll say a fish. Uh, a fish? A stream? A stream, yeah. Okay. I'll say a fish. A fish, okay? Excrement. Fish excrement. Fish excrement. Okay, fish! Dead? Specifically a dead fish, but a fish nonetheless. Okay, we'll give that one to you. All right, Panther, name something you uh, wouldn't want to see in that stream you just drank from. What is the dog name? A, a nudist. Oh, boy. Huh? Right Naked Grandma! <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Naked what? Show me a nudist. Yes! <laughs> we got it. Birds? Okay. Thanks, Mike. Said birds? To keep it alive, four, the Night Howlers show me birds. Okay, let's see if you guys can steal this one. Three answers left. We'll go with algae. Okay. Algae, okay, that's a great answer. Let's see if that's up there. Show me algae. It's not up there, sorry. Okay, 140 goes to Night Howlers, they have 195. Okay, uh, let's see. Any uh, any ideas? Underwear. Uh, underwear. Underwear. <laughs> Duke. Sorry. That's insane. Condoms. Condoms. <laughs> Duke <laughs> the Badger. Uh, well, I didn't. I don't think I heard number five. Number five. Blood. Yeah, no one said that. Name a sport where a kangaroo might be a superstar. Oh, that's a good buzz for Aiden. Uh, basketball. Basketball. Okay, show me basketball. That's up there, but one number one answer can beat that. Dis? Volleyball? Volleyball? Okay, let's see if that is number one. Show me volleyball. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a strike. That's 
Panther. 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 Boxing, boxing, boxing. I said bowling. Yeah. That's good. Number one, boxing or kickboxing? Suck. Okay, we got four Sorry. answers left. Uh, Harry, a sport where a kangaroo might be a superstar. Uh, I'm going to say soccer. Soccer? Okay, using those golf. strong, powerful legs for soccer. Yeah, number four. Very good. Three answers left. Star Dead body. I'm going to say the high jump. The high jump, okay. Duke. Down to track show me high jump. That's number five. Only two Garbage. Guys are doing you guys are doing great. Aiden. Uh, let's go football. Football, okay. Mm. The American version of soccer. Show me football. Uh, first strike. Okay. Panther, a sport where a kangaroo might be a superstar. Kung Fu, okay, I like that. Martial arts, show me Kung Fu! Martial arts is good. Second strike, okay. So get ready to steal. Fighting wolves, you guys will need this. Alright, Harry, two answers left. Kangaroo might be a superstar. Tennis? Tennis? What? Oh, that makes, uh, makes, a little, makes sense to me. Let's He's see like, if that's up there. Really Tennis! <laughs> First strike. Okay, so I'll give you guys a little bit more time because you're going to need this for the game. Let's review the scores real quick. Yeah, let's see. Just to be sure. Yep. All right, you guys, uh, you need to steal this. If you don't steal this, they're going to win the game. Uh, two answers left, though. No. Uh, Try a long jump. Long jump, okay. We're sitting with Travis you know Keel for this thing. one. If long jump is up there, you guys have made this a game, and we're going to all come down to the fourth round. If not, the Night Howlers are going to go to Fast Money Fury Feud Finals. Show me for the steal, the long jump. Yes! 156 to 195. Big steal, guys. Okay, last answer, number six. Running. Kickball. Kickball. Golf. Golf track. Bowling. They have a tail. I, didn't hear it. I don't think anyone said this. Now he's a really buff. Duke. Number six. <laughs> wrestling. Wrestling is number six. I'd wrestle with a king. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Okay, <laughs> we have a game here. It's 195 for the Night Howlers, 156 for the Fighting Wolves. It is anybody's game. It's going to come down to this no, no. round. I need Panther and Ludo. <laughs> You guys got the mics, got the buzzers, all ready to go. Let's see, we have the top five answers on the board. And it's triple points. Good luck to both teams. Name something you take out. I'm going to take out a person. Show me a... Uh, I'm punching them, right? Oh, on a date. Okay, I just wanted to verify. He said, take out a person on a date. Show me date. That's number four, okay. Uh, Ludo. Take out the trash. Take out the take trash. Out the paper. All that furry trash. Show me trash. Dead yeah. body. <laughs> Pass or play, guys. Duke the bench. Play. play. They're gonna You're play. David okay. X. <laughs> okay, Will Shaw, name That's something you take out. Three button. answers left. Food. Food, yes. Yeah. Yeah. See that? Food. Yeah, number one answer. From Will Shaw. <laughs> 252 points in the bank already. Here, God, your turn. Something you take out. Uh, money. I take out money out of it. Take out money out of a Okay, take out money like a loan. Okay, show me money. Yes! Oh, wow, there you go. Good answer, that. Aiden, what are you no doing? Strikes. If you can get this last answer, obviously you'll win the game. Something you take out. Oh, God, am I going to say tail? Yeah, I'm going to say that. Take tail? Yeah. Take out a tail, okay? <laughs> For the win, show me tail. No, first strike. Toy. All right, Ludo, it's up to you. Name something you might take out. Out. take out earrings. Earrings, okay. Earrings or jewelry? Show me earrings. Jewelry. Okay, second strike. Get ready to steal. That's actually a good answer. 
All right, Night Howlers are going to try to come up with a steal answer. If Wilshire can't give that number five right now, something you might take out. An opponent? An opponent, okay. If opponent is up there, you guys win. If not, it's going to come down to the Night Howlers. Show me for the win, an opponent! No! Yeah. I'm going to walk over here, give him a few more seconds. This is obviously for the game and the right to go to Fast Money. Very important answer. Okay, it looks like they have an answer. Name something you might take out. What is your answer? A sex toy. Good answer, Steve! Steve Harvey, just when you need a call. Good answer, Adam. Well, you got to remember, furries did this one, so if sex toy is up there, they have won the game, and they're going to go to the finals. If not, it's going to be the Fighting Wolves. For the win, show me sex toy. Oh, <laughs> Great game. We came down with the last answer. That's how we like it. Okay, can anyone get this? Number five, something to take out. Dead body! In card! I'm an answer. <laughs> okay, I don't think coupon. Maybe someone in the back said it. I couldn't hear it. Number five. Coupons. Take out your pet for walkie! Take him out of it. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay, let's give a round of applause to the uh, nine hours for some of the big names. Give you guys a five. So we're going to wait for them to get uh, to their soundproof booth, as we say. Okay, let's put 15 seconds on the clock. Will Show, are you ready? All right, let's do this. Name a large U.S. city where a lot of furries seem to live. San Francisco. A color of M&M's candy. Red. A place where you might sit in the back. Movie theater. Burn. A word that rhymes with honey. Bunny. Uh, say that one more time. Bunny. Bunny. An animal with a spotted coat. Cheetah. 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 Very good answer. Bunny. Was bunny. Yeah. Bunny. B U N N Y. That was hard for me. Yeah. That was hard for me to pick out as well. I thought you gave some great answers. Let's see how you did. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I asked you first of all, name a large U.S. city where a lot of furries seem to live. You said? San Francisco. Are you from the Bay Area? Not, but that is a good answer. I know that's, that's for a fact. Uh, uh, can, you cut the fee, can you cut the fee so we can see the points, uh, the stage fee? Because it's covering up the corner of the board. Thank you so much. Okay, San Francisco. Survey said eight. Only I thought it would be a little higher than that, but... Yeah, okay, let's, I think you did all right for the other ones. Name a color of M&M's candy. You said the color red. Survey said. Yeah! Up to 45. Then I asked you, name a place where you might sit in the back. A lot of good answers for this, but you gave me movie theater. Survey said. Yes! 35, up to 80 already. Then I asked you, name a word that rhymes with honey. After a little confusion, you said the cute little... Bunny! Furries, yeah, I gotta say that. Survey said! Yeah, survey said 30! Oh, nice. Wilshire, you're up over, you're up over 100 already. How many do you need? 200? So the all time record for one person in this game, I've done this a number of times at cons, is 148. That's the record, okay? Ooh. This might be close. Name an animal with a spotted coat. You said That's Cheetah. Answer. The record is 148. Survey said, he tied it! Oh. Yeah, it was a lot easier than you I think we're going to go off the stage for one. Crash, so. Let's bring back the uh, well, Deus. The Eminem color one. Nice job, Wilshire. Oh, I've got yeah. pieces in there. So I'm feeling kind of confident. Yeah. Good, then you can parlay that up. Uh, Wilshire did amazing. Got 148 points, actually tied a furry few Maybe for one player. You wouldn't expect to get a pet, so uh, we're, we'll you make sure you can't see the board, so I'm going to have you face that way, okay? Yeah, you can, you can move back a little bit. Delete. No, 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 move back, 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 back. Yeah, stage middle, there you go. Yeah, exactly, just so you can't see the board. Sorry, I'm special. <laughs> okay, so uh, Wilshire, as we saw, got 148, you need 52 points for the money, all right? You guys can do this. The memberships, I mean... Let's uh, reveal Wilshire's answers. 
Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, 20 seconds once I finish reading the first question. If you uh, duplicate one of Wilshire's answers, I'm going to say try again, and that's your cue to give me another answer, okay? Here. If you get stuck, say pass, and we'll get back to it if there's time. Are you ready? This. I think deep, so. deep breath. Okay, you got this. Here we go. Name a large U.S. city where a lot of furries seem to live. Phoenix. Name a color of M&M's candy. Clock's not going. Blue. Name a place where you might sit in the back. A butt. A word that rhymes with honey. Money. An animal with a spotted coat. A cheetah. Uh, try again. A leopard. Good job. Yeah. I feel really good about this. Money and blue to get him better. Not this. Oh, this he did amazing. Let's stay up. Stay up here. I don't want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think he did great. I don't know. It's but... not as cute. <laughs> He's nervous. Let's see no. if this is enough. Name a you large U.S. city where a lot of furries seem to live. Pop. You said. The city of, are you from Phoenix? Okay, that's, that's what he said. <laughs> Phoenix, survey said! Phoenix. Oh. Oh. I guess no one from Phoenix in our survey. I number one answer was Seattle, say. closely followed by Denver. Seattle and Denver, number one, number two. I think you're all right, though. A color of Adam's candy, you said... You said blue. Survey said... Yeah, 15, we're getting closer. The number one answer was red, said by Wilshire. Good job, Wilshire. Okay, here we go. A place where you might sit in the back. You said, back of the bus. <laughs> Survey said, yeah, 16 points away. The number one answer was movie theater, said by Wilshire. We are 16 points away from the memberships. Can we do it? Name a word that rhymes with honey. You said, yeah, money, easy. show me the money. If this is 16 or more, you guys have won the memberships. Survey said! Yeah! $5,000! Yeah. Wow! Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you so much for sticking around.